Hi, everybody. I'm going to read some fun facts for you. I will link below to the article. I'm not going to read all 44, but yeah, numbers from 2017 that are almost too crazy to believe. You can read all 44 by linking, by, by clicking on the link below. But Donald Trump gained 98% of territory that was lost by Barack Obama. I should have said, you know, oh, I can't stand reading some of these because we don't know what the truth is. But it certainly does reflect a country that has really so fallen that it's foreign. But how do we know that Donald Trump gained 98% of territory that Obama lost? Um, ISIS is us. ISIS is us. You know, Tories are us. ISIS is us. ISIS are us. It's, uh, I can't stand reading stuff about ISIS. Okay. The price of Bitcoin rose more than 1,300%. According to the Washington Post, one out of every 10 young adults in the United States has been homeless. Huh. Over the past year. The United States has lost more than 70,000 manufacturing facilities since China joined the World Trade Organization in 2001. On Trump's first day in office, this is interesting, he was 70 years, 7 months, and 7 days old, and it happened in year 5777 on Hebrew calendar. An all-time record for the number of retail store closings in the United States was shattered in 2017. According to the latest figures, a total of 6,985 store locations were shut down last year, and we are expected to break that record again in 2018. Yay, the economy is doing so well. The number of retail store closings in 2017 was up 229% compared to 2018. Ronald Reagan, when he was in office, we were $1 trillion in debt. Now we're $20 trillion in debt. 41 million Americans are currently living in poverty. Only 37% of Americans have a favorable view of the Democratic Party. Unfortunately, that means an awful lot of people have well, favorable, unfavorable view of both parties, government. Oh, boy. Yeah, we are losing big time to all the statists. And, you know, those in the, I don't know, quote-unquote, awake crowd or quote-unquote truther community hate those terms. But they're statists as well. They still think that you know, the answer can be found in government. Every institution has become so thoroughly corrupted that, well, unfortunately, it only means that everything's just going to get an awful lot worse and perhaps a revolution will take place, physical, unfortunately, um, and maybe Maybe then people will realize government sure ain't the answer to anything. In fact, government is absolutely the answer to making everything worse. Everything worse. So the individual has to get to the point of recognizing that they are their own leader. They are their authority. And they should be working for freedom and not living this this shameful degrading life of constantly having to ask government can I do this mommy daddy please let me do it give me a permit oh I, I saw a drudge and there was an article about California I guess 2018 was, you know, that 
just from 11.59.2017 to <laughs> midnight 2018, pot suddenly was legalized or something in California. And you see these pictures of Californians. They're adults, and they're all smiling, and they're in stores, and they're buying their pot. And I'm thinking to myself, Jesus, they're adults, and look at them, like acting like little kids. Hey, Mommy and Daddy, they let us get an ice cream cone at the store. How could we have allowed our government to jail people for smoking or or um, possession of, of a natural substance? Okay. When it's so, so much safer than alcohol. All right. Wildfires. 9,791,602 acres just in 2017. That's a lot. Less than 50% of all third, fourth, and fifth grade students in the state of California meet minimum standards of literacy. Oh, wow. Californians. What the hell are you guys doing? Third, fourth, fifth grade students. Less than 50% meet standards of literacy. An elementary school in California, 96% of the students are not proficient in either English or math. 1960, an average of $146 was spent on health care. Today, 9990 Obamacare, and a, I'm looking at that. I can't even think of how to pronounce it. My God. Appendectomy. Whoa. Brain. Come on. <laughs> it's 10 times more expensive than in Mexico. And Obamacare made for a family of four in Virginia. They're now paying $3,000 a month for health insurance. Oh boy, this hurts. Average rate increase for Obama care plans will be 37% higher in 2018. Homelessness has become so pervasive in ultra liberal Seattle that 400 unauthorized tent camps have popped up around the city. Hey, liberal Democrats, you guys are supposed to be the, the caring party. So how did homelessness become so pervasive in your city? 2017 discovered that 78% of all full-time workers in the United States live paycheck to paycheck. Average U.S. household is now hundred. And thirty-seven thousand sixty-three dollars in debt. Fifty-nine point eight percent of young millennials are now living with rel relatives. Rarely forty percent, and nearly forty percent of all U.S. adults are now officially obese. Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, and Warren Buffett—just those three together—have more money than the poorest fifty percent of the U.S. population combined. 20% of all U.S. households have either zero or negative wealth. 50% of all Americans favor a preemptive strike on North Korea. Yay! Let's bomb another country. Even though they can't even tell you where North Korea is. Venezuela, the 11th largest oil producing country in the entire world, decided to stop using the petrodollar in 2017. But if you try to talk to an American, they won't even know because their mainstream media haven't really been focusing on that. So what do you think is happening in Venezuela? They stop using the petrol dollar. Oh, okay. Well, let's go in and destroy the country. That's what's happening in Venezuela. It's not socialism that's bringing them down. It's the United States that's bringing them down. Oh, we have so many clever methods that we use to destroy, bring about destruction.
It has been reported that only 25% of all Americans have more than $10,000 in savings. And 44% of all U.S. adults do not even have enough money to cover an unexpected $400 expense.